this morning. With just a week in the Oval Office, President Donald Trump is working to make good on campaign promises to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. So far, the U.S. Senate has passed a budget resolution paving the way for official legislation. And on his first day as president, Trump signed a broad executive order, quote, minimizing the economic burden of the Affordable Care Act. Officials with Be Well and M say New Mexicans need to go forth with business as usual when it comes to getting their insurance. We could not foresee what changes might be coming down the road, but for now, everything remains the same, and we're here to help you. Now, Be Well and M Outreach Manager Veronica Reyes says in these final days of enrollment for health insurance in New Mexico, they expect a lot more people to sign up. She says so far, 51,000 New Mexicans have enrolled through the exchange this year. Last year, 68% of those who enrolled got financial assistance. Democratic Senator Tom Udall voted against that budget resolution in the Senate that begins the process of repealing the Affordable Care Act. He spoke on the Senate floor telling stories about New Mexicans who rely on the Affordable Care Act. Before we passed the Affordable Care Act, New Mexico had a high rate of people without health insurance. It was one of the highest in our region and in the country. Meanwhile, Congressman Steve Pierce, a Republican, said in a statement following the House passage of that resolution, saying, quote, the American people have entrusted us with fixing this disastrous law, and I look forward to working with my colleagues to replace it with something better for New Mexico and for the nation. Now, for now, BYNM says New Mexicans have until January 31st to sign up for a plan and be covered through the next year. Time now,